Okay, so for lesson three of context clues, we'll be learning about inference. So what do you do when you are reading a novel and you find a word, you come across a word that you don't know? Well, you either skip over it or you guess or you leave the book and you go find the definition somewhere else. But what if I told you that I could give you a couple of clues to where you could figure out the definition of that word like that? That'd be great. Well, it's inferencing. It's the fourth context clue that we've learned, and it's called the detective box. Here's where you will take the text clues and you'll figure the definition of the word out. So for the first pra practice question that we're going to do has a made up word in it, the, and then it, but surrounded by normal words. You're going to use the context clues that you have learned, and you're going to use the other words surrounding the made up word to figure out what the real word means, or the fake word means. Now, the Habby Tabby is my least favorite chore. It is heavy pushing the Habby Tabby back and forth on the carpet. What is the Habby Tabby? But before we answer that question, you're going to tell me what words to highlight that would help you figure out what this word means. Chore. Heavy pushing. Carpet. Okay, so now that we've highlighted these words, what chore is heavy pushing on the carpet and a chore? Vacuuming. Yes. Vacuuming is the word, what the word habit tabby means. Now, the goal of the habit tabby exercise is to show that you can use context clues to figure out a word even if it does not exist. So the next example is fabtatious. Now, I am feeling really fabtatious today. I miss my dog who is at home while I'm away at camp. I'm also fabtatious because my parents are home too. I miss them. Now, same exercise. What words in this sentence will help you figure out what the word fabtatious means? Miss my dog. I miss them too. Away. Okay. So, with these words in mind, what word is fabtatious? Is it sad or lonely? Homesick. It is sad. What you did there was you used Miss, Away, and My Dog, and your understanding of these words to put together that the word fabtatious really means sad. So. Because that's how I would feel. Yes, that is how I would feel too. I miss my parents and my dog. So, like I said, the goal of the Habitabby and Fabtatious exercise is to prove that you can use context clues to figure out what a word means, even if it does not exist. But how do you remember all four context clues tools? Definition, synonyms, antonyms, and inference. Well, Danny sings for apples and ice. Danny, definition, sings, synonyms, Apples, antonyms, and ice, inference. Danny sings for apples and ice. You will remember these context clues when you come across a word or a character or a situation you don't quite understand, and it prevents you from, from continuing, continuing your book or your novel or your passage. So from here on, we will, I will hand you out a worksheet that will address these and you will do the same thing. You will highlight or underline or circle the fake word and the words that will help you figure out what the fake word means. And thank you.